Hello, this is Ali. Welcome. I'll show you how to get started with the .NET Win HTML Editor Control. It's very easy. You just need to download the trial version from SpiceLogic.com. It's a zip file. So, as soon as you download the zip file, you'll just need to unblock it. So it's very important you just right-click, and you'll see from the properties there is an unblock option. You'll need to unblock it, otherwise Visual Studio may not compile because it's downloaded from the internet. So there's the first step. Now, once you unzip it, you'll find there are several folders. One of the folders is called Main Control DLL. You open this, and here you'll find winformhtml.dll. That's actually the control you should add on your Visual Studio to the box. So I'll show you how from the Visual Studio you can add this. First, you should create a Windows Form project, like Windows Form application. So if you do not activate a Windows Form project, then it may not allow you to add this control because this control is targeted only for Windows Forms. Now you'll come down to General, just for the sake of clarity. So place the control here, or right-click and choose Items, and then you'll find the Browse button. Then you'll look at the Main Control DLL folder, then select this WinForm HTML Editor Control. So, as soon as you do that, you'll see the HTML icon. Once you've added that to the toolbar, you'll soon see it show up in your folder. Okay, here it is. So that's pretty much it, and you can start right away. It supports spell checking and lots of other features. You'll find out more about those once you start exploring. But for now, I'll just show you the spell checker option. Click here for fire inline spell checking. But again, that's not the only feature. You'll find many others once you begin. Another thing before I sum this up, you should never target to client profiles, like say .NET 4.0 client profile, nothing like that. It's meant to be the full .NET framework, not the client profile. So see here, you'll see the spell checker is working. I added this just for a quick demonstration, but I'll skip some of the others, like FTP upload, embedding images for emails, and many, many more, just to explore and have some fun. Then you need to add the reference of mshtml.dll and set copy local property to true for that reference. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.